Hi guys, it's Rashmi here. Welcome to my channel, a trusted resource for evidence-based nutrition and supplementation. So today I am going to talk about zinc. You would have heard about toilet paper and sanitizer shortages, but if you would have visited a pharmacy, you would have noticed that zinc supplements are missing. Why? Because all over around, there are so many suggestions and recommendations for the supplement in boosting immunity to fight this COVID-19. Zinc is even given the title of a silver bullet against coronavirus. So people are going crazy and self-medicating themselves with zinc supplement without even understanding the science and the logic behind it. And that's why I guess I'm here. So today I am going to dig into this nutrient deeply to explain you why zinc is important in boosting immunity and whether you need a zinc supplement or not. And also why zinc is given along with hydroxychloroquine tablet for COVID-19 treatment. So this video is going to be a little technical but I have tried my best to explain this in simple language. So let's dig into it. Before I get into the actual topic, you need to know one third of the world's population is zinc deficient. In India, recent studies have confirmed high prevalence of zinc deficiency among children of low socioeconomic group with the highest in Odisha, followed by UP, Gujarat, MP and Karnataka. So one thing about zinc is we need a constant supply through diet or supplementation as our body doesn't make it. Zinc is an essential mineral which is vital for many functions in our body. It is the second most prevalent mineral in our body post iron and is present in every cell. It is responsible for the activity of more than 300 different enzymes that helps in digestion, metabolism, nerve function and many other processes. Zinc is also essential for cell growth and division, immune function, DNA synthesis, protein production, wound healing, acne treatment and decreases inflammation. So what's more? Zinc is required even for the senses of taste and smell. So this shows that zinc is very, very important for our body. So what is the role of zinc in improving immunity and COVID-19 inhibition? Do we have sufficient data to support that? Well, zinc plays an important role in immunity and has been a popular treatment for common cold. Studies have shown that 80 to 92 milligram of zinc can reduce the duration of common cold by 33%. And the science behind is that zinc inhibits the binding of cold viruses to the cell within the nasal mucosa and suppresses inflammation. While common cold can be the result of coronavirus, the question is, can zinc shorten the duration and reduce the impact of COVID-19? Answer is, we don't know as we do not have sufficient data for the same. But it has been found that zinc inhibits the replication of many viruses. And scientists are expecting that COVID-19 can be prevented similarly. Check out this study. Zinc inhibits coronavirus and artery virus RNA polymerase activity in vitro and zinc ionophores block the replication of these viruses in cell culture. So for a molecule of zinc to enter a cell, we need an ionophore. Ionophore means ion carrier which makes cell wall permeable for zinc to enter. So the anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine has been found effective for the treatment of coronavirus because it works as a zinc ionophore. And this was concluded based on the presence of high zinc levels when both zinc and HCQ were added to the cell culture. But this trial was done for anti-cancer activity. So yes, zinc and HCQ can be helpful in treating the illnesses caused by coronavirus, but that doesn't mean that both are effective against COVID-19 because we need more studies to prove that. So the bottom line is zinc is very crucial for a strong immunity. 
Now don't run off to take as much zinc as possible. Just as zinc deficiency can cause health issues, similarly excessive intake can lead to side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, headaches and even low HDL levels. The recommended dietary allowance for zinc is 11 mg for men and 8 mg for women. Zinc is present in wide variety of foods and through a balanced meal, one can get sufficient amount of zinc without supplementation. Animal products like meat and shellfish contain the highest amount of zinc followed by plant sources like beans, legumes and whole grains. But if you think you are not consuming enough of zinc rich foods, then low dose of zinc supplementation can be considered. But avoid supplements for children. Opt for zinc citrate or zinc gluconate as they absorb quickly. Avoid zinc oxide due to poor absorption. But as I always suggest, please consult your qualified nutritionist or a physician before consuming any supplement, even as basic as zinc, as it can interact with certain medications like antibiotics, diuretics, etc. So to conclude, zinc is required for a strong immunity, but it's important to stick to the recommendations and take supplement only when it's required. And if you really want to protect yourself from COVID-19, it's best to follow the measures given by WHO and CDC. And that's the end of this video. So if you found this video helpful, then do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you get notified about my new videos. Don't forget to like, comment and share the health with others. Do follow me on Instagram and Facebook page. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.